Welcome to episode 7 of Upgrade My PC, please. On last week's episode, we had five Intel Core 2 quad-based systems, all in need of various upgrades, and you, the viewers, voted Andrew's PC the most worthy of receiving the proposed upgrades. As for our four runners-up, well, they'll be receiving a Rainbow Six Siege game code from Ubisoft, and a big thank you to Ubisoft for supporting the series and providing our contestants with free games. Don't forget to vote each week either, because that will place you in the running to win some cool prizes, and those are global giveaways. Last week, we gave away a Ryzen 5 1400 processor, and this week, we have another very cool prize, and I'll announce that later in the video. For now, we have five very old Core i7 PCs to check out, so let's go do that. Actually, hold up a minute. Before we do that, please note that this series, Upgrade My PC Please, isn't about finding the oldest and saddest and most rundown, pathetic computers we can and just simply rebuild them into something new. Rather, the idea is to check out all kinds of different PCs and sometimes we will look at old PCs and sometimes not so old. We're really just targeting PC enthusiasts. That's it. Anyway, with that disclaimer out of the way, we'll no doubt still see, hey, these PCs are all better than mine in the comments, but hey, let's just get on with it. Joshua received his computer as a gift from his parents for finishing middle school. I think all I got was a pat on the back and a look of disbelief. A PC would have been really cool. Anyway, the original system has seen countless upgrades and they were first carried out by professionals, then some tech savvy friends helped out. And now Joshua is starting to mess around with the upgrades himself. Over the past few years, he has started researching and tinkering about, and his research led him in the direction of a Ryzen 5 upgrade, and he's been slowly piecing a plan together. As it stands, he saved up and purchased the ASUS ROG Strix B350F gaming motherboard, and he also has plans to pick up the Ryzen 5 1600X next. Joshua also plans to replace that crazy looking case he currently has with the NZXT S340 Elite in the matte white finish and he just loves the design of that case and I have to agree it's a very slick looking case. And since we can afford that with our $500 US budget, let's get the S340. Then for the CPU, I propose we do save a little bit of money and get the non-X Ryzen 5 1600 as it's much the same, but the non-X version does come with a cooler and that'll help tie Joshua over till he can get an AM4 adapter for the 212 Evo. Then we can swing for eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory and to speed everything up, let's drop in Crucial's MX300 275 gigabyte SSD. If Joshua wins, he'll be well on his way to building his dream gaming rig. Walter purchased the machine you see here from Cyber Power PC in 2010 and over the years has made a few key upgrades. Originally it came with a GeForce GTS 250 graphics card, 6GB of RAM and a 32GB SSD. Upgrading to the Radeon R9 390 would have made a huge difference and that graphics card is still very capable today. Walter enjoys long walks on the beach. <laughs> So I couldn't, couldn't get that out with a straight face. No, seriously, Walter enjoys playing World of Warcraft, Mass Effect Andromeda, and Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, so what's X is 10, uh, I is 1, uh, so that's 11. Then we have a V, so 5, but we have to deduct I from V, so 14. Uh, Roman numerals suck. Anyway, Final Fantasy 14 got there in the end. Uh, moving along, Walter uses the PC for illustration, so he plays around with applications such as Photoshop. So he doesn't just want better frame rates in games, but also better performance for his drawing software. Since the Radeon R9 390 is still a bit of a beast, and we'd have to spend more than our $500 US budget allows for to replace it, so let's focus on the CPU. The new Core i5-8400 has proven to be really snappy in the Adobe applications, and you would need to spend like another $100 on the Ryzen 7 1700 to beat it. The 8400 is an exceptional gamer as well, and it has no trouble maxing out today's latest and greatest graphics cards, so there will be plenty of headroom there. Then with 16 gigabytes of memory, Walter will be set, allowing him to work and game faster than ever before. Next up, we have an old Linfield-based Core i7-870 system from Pascal named Smilodon. After the RAID Max case, it's built in. I guess it looks a bit like a saber-toothed tiger if you squint really hard and have had like a dozen beers. Pascal probably should have called it Mothership because that's basically what it is for his family's entertainment. The old rig's being used as a Plex Media streaming server as well as a gaming machine uh, by his four kids and it's often used simultaneously for both playing games as well as streaming and the old Core i7 isn't appreciating this mega tasking action or whatever Intel calls it these days. 
Right now, Pascal and his family are playing Rainbow Six Siege, Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 at 1080p, so the GeForce GTX 1060 has them pretty well covered there. So to keep in-house squabbling to a minimum, Pascal really needs more processing power under the hood of that massive RAID Max case. Converting our $500 US budget to Canadian dollars, we get about $630 to play with, and I'm planning on using every last dollar. For this one, there's simply no better option than the Ryzen 7 1700. The 8 core 16 thread beast will have Pascal's family well looked after, and with 16 gigabytes of memory, they should be right. Pascal can always add another 16 gigabytes down the track if need be. All of this will be on the MSI Gaming B350 PC mate, and that'll ensure there's plenty of options to expand and upgrade the system in the future. Joel has old unfaithful for us, and this thing brings back quite a few memories for me, as I had a Thermaltake Armor Plus case back in the day, and I just loved that thing. Joel's build is about eight years old now. It was built by a friend as a workstation PC, but after years of use, the system died, and Joel's mate bought a new PC to replace it and handed him the dead rig just to play around with. After countless hours of troubleshooting and a few component changes, Joel actually managed to bring the beast back to life. Well, for the most part anyway. It still refuses to boot on occasion, it suffers from a few other gremlins, but it's a bit of a make-do situation for now. Joel says he's okay with playing games on low quality settings, he just wants to be able to play games without any stability issues, and right now he is trying to play PUBG, GTA 5 and 7 Days to Die. So for this one, I suggest the Ryzen 5 1400 as this 4-core 8-thread CPU can tackle the latest games, and it's really a perfect pairing for a mid-range to high-end GPU. Unfortunately for now, though, Joel will have to stick with the GTX 760 as we could only afford something like a GTX 1050 or RX 560, and neither of those really offer much in the way of extra performance over what he currently has, so be a bit of a waste of money. That being the case, it's my opinion that we're better off dumping the 160 ish dollars we have left over on an SSD, and that will get us the crucial MX300 275 gigabyte. We are, of course, pairing the R5 1400 on a B350 motherboard with 8 gigabytes of memory, and this platform upgrade alone will take Joel's gaming experience to the next level. Now, this PC by Hallam is creative, very creative indeed. He says it started life as his grandmother's computer back in 2010 and with a Core i5-7500 in a huge aero cool case. Eventually, Grandma didn't need the system anymore, so she handed it off to her grandson Hal in 2015 as a birthday gift. Grandmas are the best, aren't they? Hal's made a number of upgrades over the years, and last year the AeroCool Knife Box, as he's nicknamed it, cut him for the last time. Sick of getting cut by the case every time he went in there to do some cleaning or whatever else, uh, he hacked it up and just kept the motherboard tray to create the thing you see before you. What he's basically made here is an open air test bed out of timber and the leftover motherboard tray, and I have to say I absolutely love it. Hal is a robotic engineer student, and in the future he would like to custom design and fabricate his own small form factor micro ATX case, so that's pretty cool. Speaking of which, he does do a lot of CAD work with the PC, and this really is its primary function, though he does enjoy playing games as well. Right now he says he's playing Overwatch, heavily modified Skyrim SE, and World of Warcraft Legion. His dream PC would be based on a Threadripper CPU, but realistically, he's hoping for a Ryzen 5 or 7 upgrade in the near future. So this is a pretty obvious upgrade, though we will be again using every last dollar we have available. The R5-1600 is the most expensive Ryzen CPU we can afford with our $500 US budget, which converted to Australian dollars gives us $645. In addition to the R5-1600, that's going to get us the Gigabyte AB350MD3H with 16 gigabytes of memory. Should hell win, his CAD life's going to become a heck of a lot more enjoyable. Alright guys, there's five old Intel power plants, all in need of various upgrades. It's now your job to let us know which one you think is most deserving of receiving our proposed upgrade package. To cast your vote, please follow the link in the video description, that'll head you over to the TechSpot forums. By signing up for the forums, commenting and voting, we're in the running to win some very cool prizes, and as I said, they are global giveaways and we do do them each week. Speaking of which, the winner from last week's episode is AndroidD25. Congratulations mate, you have an awesome AOC 24-inch G2460VQ6 FreeSync gaming monitor coming your way. Big thank you to AOC for providing that amazing prize. And remember guys, vote, comment each week because we do have more awesome prizes coming. And don't forget to like and comment on the video as well. 
Finally, voting will be open till Friday night in the US, and that's Saturday Arvo here in Australia. Then I'll announce the winner of this week's episode at the start of next week's episode. At that point, we'll have another five PCs to check out, and we'll do it all over again. I'm your host, Steve. Go get voting. <laughs>